Hello fellow Canvas users and Delta faculty members. My name is Aaron Garner and in this video I'm going to show you how we can change these headers to something other than black and yellow. These are content blocks that I created in a, another video called Content Blocks. So if you want to know what these are about you can watch that video. So let's go ahead and go into edit mode and we'll see how we can change these colors to something else. Now, the first thing I need to do before I can do that is I need to be in another setting. We're currently on the basic setting. I need to change this to the intermediate setting. And I'll click out of that panel. And now I have the choice of changing these colors. First place I want to click in is customize the style. And now you'll see this open up and I'm going to click on this colors basic panel. And this area right here is where I'm going to change those colors. So wherever I click in, or whatever field I click in, this will dynamically change. So you see that this is black now. If I click out of that area, then it's, so let's go ahead and close that out. I don't know what that's about. You'll see that there's no color here. If I click in the yellow area, then this switches to yellow. And the same thing uh, applies to the text as well. So let's change this black to something other than black. If I click this downward arrow, I'll get the standard color picker and I can slide this around to change the color. I can change the, the color this way so I can get greens and blues and reds and all that kind of stuff. What I like to do is I like to search out color combinations from websites. And you can do this by just doing a Google search, type in something like color schemes for websites. And that's exactly what I did. And I came up with this site and there's dozens of them like this. And you can just scroll through these different color combinations and find something that you like. And when you do, most of these sites will have a six digit code that represents that particular color. So I've already gone through the trouble of picking out two color combinations that I really like. And so I'm going to go back to our edit assignment. I've already copied these codes on another document. It's on my other screen, so you can't see it. But I'm going to go ahead and copy that, that six digit code. And when I click on this downward arrow, you see this field here. I'm going to go ahead and paste that code in. And now you see it changes to this sort of light blue. Now I'm going to change this yellow to the other color that I liked. So I'm going to click in that downward arrow. I'm going to go ahead and copy that code on my other page that you can't see and enter that code in. And now it changes to that blue. Now you don't have to actually type in that number symbol. That will just be added automatically. Now, it would be very time consuming to go through that whole process for all of these headings, but fortunately what happens is that all of the colors, colors that are used in your page are added to this little area right here. So if I click in this header right here and then click this downward arrow, I can just find that color which is right there and then go ahead and click in the yellow, click the downward arrow, and I believe it was this one right there, yes. And so I can quickly change the colors of all these headings in probably less than a minute. Okay, let's take a look at two more features in this panel here. There's this WCAG, it says WCAG 2.0, and this is a ratio number. That has to do with the contrast of the colors, I believe. What WCAG stands for is Web Content Accessibility Guide, and that's a set of guidelines that if you adhere to your website or your page will be accessible. So you want to pay attention to that. There's this area here that has these, uh, there, this one has two A's and this one has three A's. What this uh, is is a rating for accessibility. Now you don't want anything less than two A's. I haven't been able to get one A actually, but I have been able to get a fail. So you, you want at least two A's three A's is better and all that really means is that those colors are accessible. It has to do with the contrast between the background and the text. So for example, white on white or black on black would be probably the word or any color on that other color 
In other words, the text in the background, if it were the same color, you would get a fail. So if I click in here, and let's say I click on white, and then, by the way, you see that the, the uh, text automatically colors um, black there, and that's for accessibility purposes. But if I go over here and change this to white, I'm going to get fail, because you can't see white text on a white background, obviously. And that brings me to this section right here. What's really cool about this is that whatever color I have up, I can either lighten or darken that color by choosing either the circle to the left or the circle to the right. If I click this one here, the darkened in circle, I click in here, that will darken that background. And you can see it just continually darkens the background. Now you can see I'm back to a AAA rating. If I want to lighten it, I can click on this one, and that will lighten it. And that's the purpose of those, is so that you can increase your rating there. And then one last thing, if I click in this X, and you've got one for text and one for background, that will bring me back to my original institutional colors of yellow and black. So if I click that, that'll bring it back to black. Now you'll see I'll have to do the same thing for the text. So that now I'm back to the original colors. If I click in this blue area, the circle, click on the default color of yellow, and then that will bring me back to my black icon. And that's pretty much it for changing colors. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.